All right, let's talk some Tua here in the preseason. I wanted to just sort of see what how he's going to do. I'm assuming they're going to run a very similar scheme this year to what was ran last year. The Mike McDaniel scheme, I think, would work, uh, you know, similar to the Shanahan scheme is what I'm assuming it will be. I don't know why I just said that like Yoda, but regardless, uh, I am very fascinated in how this will work. So I wanted to see how Tua would play in the preseason, and I thought he played well. So we didn't see a ton of him, but let's talk about what we did see. We'll start off with something like this, which is a very simple thing that Tua does very effectively. If someone gets open early, he hits the guy early, which is, you know, there's a definite skill to that in the NFL. Um, it's In fact, he's going to make this throw so early. I know I haven't shown it yet, uh, but the reason why I'm bringing it up is because he's going to make the throw so early. I'm not even exactly sure what coverage this is because it doesn't fully develop. I think it's sort of a Tampa 2. It might be something else. Uh, I'm always not the best uh, at reading coverages and broadcasts, but, you know, they at least have a zoomed out version this time. Anyway, right when this play begins, you see how that route that I highlighted earlier, which was going to get sort of underneath, it's it's open here. It's in a gap of coverage, and this is the, the main point of why I'm bringing up this play. You have a guy who's just sort of getting underneath the coverage, and these are the kind of things that when Tua sees this, he can make these throws quickly, and you can definitely move the ball down the field by doing this stuff, especially in this situation, right? It's a second down and 14. So for Tua, who, you know, you want to just create a manageable third down scenario. That is your goal if you're Tua, because it's going to be a lot easier to convert a third and five than it is going to convert a third and 14. In fact, they might not even try to convert the third and 14. They might just run a halfback draw and just, you know, play the field position game. Instead, Tua throws this one right away. Very good play from Tua. And this is the stuff that, whether you're a Tua fan or a Tua hater, there is no denying this is the stuff that Tua is very effective at. The sort of running an offense type plays, the getting rid of the ball quickly type plays, he is effective at. And I think it will work well in this new scheme that he's going to be in, even if it is relatively similar to the scheme he was in. Like something like this is another good example of just what Tua does effectively. This is the Tua we saw at Alabama. This is the Tua that some felt like should be drafted ahead of Joe Burrow and many felt like should be drafted above Justin Herbert. That was actually, you know, conventional thought at the time was he was better than Justin Herbert, even though everyone makes fun of the Dolphins now for it. It's like, you know, you can only make fun of the Dolphins now for it if you said it at the time, I feel like. But uh, anyways, what's going to happen on this play is it's going to be zone coverage. And you see that there's two routes that could sort of get into a gap in coverage because they're past sort of that first line of defense in coverage. And there's also a play action. So you can get linebackers to move in, throw over the top of them. This is a concept that tends to work out pretty well. Right when this play begins, Tua runs the play action, looks down the field, is in the throwing motion, but looks over here and says, there is a risk here. Now, you know, you could make this throw because there is a linebacker who it has his back turned. We can't see the safeties deep, so I don't know how big of a window this is. But Tua doesn't feel like it's a big enough window to make this throw. He's not going to take this chance. Some people consider this a negative. Some people consider it a positive. But the reality is it's going to more often than not work out, I would say. So he moves over to his next read, which again, this one you could maybe argue you should try to fire it through there. I think he shouldn't. I think that you have a defensive back who's looking towards Tua, who's in position to make this throw. I think if Tua makes this throw, it's most likely going to be incomplete, and there's probably just as good of a chance of an interception as a completion. I think don't take that chance. So Tua instead gets over to his third read, does all this so quickly, and that's the really impressive stuff, is he very quickly reads, don't like that, don't like that, I'm going to throw it here. And that's exactly what you want to see from a quarterback, and you know, his sort of selling point was how well he ran an offense at Alabama. But when you get to the NFL, there's more intricate details you have to learn. That just takes some time. But the idea is you get a smart player in college, they're probably going to be a smart player in the NFL, even if they don't master it year one or year two. And with a, con a scheme like this that kind of suits his strengths, that is the hope. You also have something like this where, you know, statistically, this is one of the things that Dolphins fans don't like to hear, but it's the numbers are the numbers. So I'm just talking about the numbers, and the numbers are that the longer a play goes on, the worse Tua was last year. And I'm not talking about, like, obviously, you know, every quarterback under pressure ends up getting worse. But his numbers when he gets rid of the ball in less than two and a half seconds last year were great. His numbers when it took him more than two and a half seconds to get rid of the ball, not so great. Some Dolphins fans blame the offensive line. I don't think that's entirely fair. I think that he deserves some of the blame as well, but we're going to see him do a good job of a play that lasts a little bit longer. 
watch right when this play begins Tua takes a snap and we're going to actually pause it three seconds into the play so three seconds in so we're past that two and a half second mark typically two and a half seconds is right when the play either develops or doesn't develop uh and then you got to figure something else out and for Tua he's in the has to figure something else out issue and one nice thing for him is that they're you know there's no pressure so that obviously is going to help the fact that you have a clean pocket even three seconds into the play as you see Tua is going to be able to scramble out and he is going to make this throw so kind of his you know his on script stuff was great last year and his off script stuff wasn't great last year but if he can start to get the off script stuff to just be decent and continue being great at the on script stuff that's a really good quarterback so these are the kind of things you're hoping for, and again, in a better situation, that's also going to help. Finally, one last play. Let's show this one. So again, uh, going to be kind of a simpler concept. It's going to be man coverage. You see a tight end is going to run over the middle of the field, and these are the things that I thought Tua got to the point last year where he was just good at this stuff. He learned from the great Ryan Fitzpatrick of, you know, the throwing to guys who are NFL open instead of college open. Watch how right when this play begins, Tua looks down the field, and right here, he has to make his decision. You can't wait until someone gets open a lot of times. A lot of times, you have to throw with anticipation, but I like this throw. You know, you have the tight end who's going to be running, and he's going to get in sort of inside leverage. I think this is what you want to do here. Now, he doesn't get his head turned around in time. The ball kind of hits him in the chest. To me, that's a good play from Tua. Those are the throws I want Tua to make. And I think that if he does that, he's going to be more successful than not most of the time. So all of this stuff, again, not a biggest sample size, but you know, these types of plays to me, they're good and they're impressive. So yeah, what have we learned with Tua? Well, we're not going to learn a ton. We've seen him play in, you know, what, a season and a half of football now at this point of NFL football in the regular season. Obviously, I'm going to pay more attention to that tape than to, you know, a handful of snaps in the preseason. But you can always learn slight things. And listen, if there was a season of football to talk about yesterday, I would, I would be talking about that instead. Uh, we don't have that. or we, we didn't have any football yesterday, but uh, or we had one game. Anyways, don't know why I said that. Uh, moving back on to the, you know, my, my main point is that this is what we have to talk about, and when we're talking about it, I think that, you know, Tua looks comfortable in this scheme, as we all figured he would, but still, just because you think something's going to happen doesn't mean it's going to happen, and I think that he's played particularly well so far from, from the preseason that we've seen, and let's just hope that it continues is what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What were your thoughts on Tua's preseason performance? Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.